Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today I'm going to make these machines that are behind me on a whiz today and I'm also going to make the ones, uh, the Intec Reborn machines over there whiz as well. So let's get started. So here we are. Um, the Tech Reborn basically uh, upgrades and the um, Industrial Revolution are basically upgrades to upgrade the machines and enhances to make them go faster, which are these items along here. Uh, this one is a blast furnace enhancer, and this one's a smoker enhancer. That base, as it says, converts the electric furnace to accept smoker recipes. And this one does the same for blast furnace recipes. I've got both. Well, actually, I haven't got the smoker yet. I've never made any smoker stuff. But the important stuff today is going to be speed enhancing. This one here increases power consumption. I think we have enough power, but that's next episode. We're going to make an extreme power, I hope. So let's have a look at the overclocker upgrade here. There's different recipes, and the one that I'm going to be doing is this one here. I, I think there's 180 helium cells is reasonably tricky. We need buckets of helium to make these 60k helium cells. Now, buckets is what we're going to be concentrating on today. They're not the helium ones. We're going to look at, let's go back to, and we're going to look at the 60k NAC coolant cells which require buckets of potassium and buckets of sodium, and you cannot replace those with cells. And it also requires the 10k water coolant cells, which is a, a bucket of water surrounded by tin ingots. It's fairly straightforward. Not the one, it's not too difficult. We've done that already in the previous episodes. So let's have a look at doing buckets. I have got prepared here some recipes for buckets. So sodium here, for example, is one uh, bucket plus a potassium cell. Uh, and it's the same is true for the sodium bucket, obviously, and the same beryllium. I haven't done the um, helium bucket yet, but we'll need to do that at some time. But it's the same stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you this recipe here. This recipe here is for a uh, industrial chunk loader. And I've got substitute items in here. It doesn't really make any... I don't, in this particular case, makes no difference whatsoever. But what's important is... I'm going to change this to a processing recipe and upgrade it, update it. So what it's going to do is it's going to put a bronze plate, a cold plate, a gold plate, and then it's going to do lapis lazuli, an industrial machine frame, a nickel plate, an obsidian plate, a quartz plate, and a redstone plate. And it's going to put those in that in that order into the output inventory. That's very important. So let's go put it over here like this. And at the moment, which is, as you may have noticed, I've set this up to point into this chest so we can see nothing in the chest at the moment so we can see what happens when we craft one of these things so um let's go to chunk and here we've got the we can craft one of these let's start and do next for that one to start that so in here we should have those items oh why well, has it not got the items in here what's it doing Did I forget to change the rest? No, I didn't. I'm sure I didn't. No, it creates. Ah, sorry. It <laughs> right, as we see, we've got a bronze plate, a cold plate, a gold plate, a uh, lapis lazuli plate, and at the back, the last one of these was redstone plates. If you go and have a look back at here again. Actually, let's take this out of here. We can have a look, put this back in here. And it's consistent. This always does the same, the same stuff. Uh, in fact, it's already here. So that's that's how that works. And then we could actually change this back to oh, it should be a crafting recipe. Update it, and then we could go and put it into one of these interfaces. Doesn't, I probably got space for it already. Where I took the existing one out. Uh, I guess that here is a chunk loader. Oh, let's put it beside that chunk loader. And we'll just cancel that recipe. Like that. So for buckets, the, the process is exactly the same. All I need to do now is to turn this around. Like that. So, the, so the items are going to come into this tank here like this. And then so we're going to get a cell. So well, actually, let's pick up one of those first of all. Let's go pick up a sodium bucket here like this. Double check it because I haven't shown you that bit yet. Let's put that into here. 
and you'll see it updates. This is the, this is the one I made myself. You can possibly, you can actually do this from the processing recipes here. There is, a, I don't quite fully understand how it works, but if we have a look, for example, at sodium buckets, let's do that from here, because I think we need them in here. If we look at the recipe for this, with this recipe, you can actually, uh, that's the sodium cells. Okay, that's not, that's why I couldn't do it. Buckets of sodium. I thought I could see the bucket of sodium from the recipe for this. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay. So you can do it like this anyway, so that's fine. So it will put out, first, first of all, the cell and then the bucket. The fact that they're in, in the middle doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So let's put this into here like this. And then see if we can craft a sodium cell. I've probably got some already in. I've got one bucket already. So let's craft one of these. It's probably, it'll be too fast for me to see. But it's... It should come straight through here, or probably already gone through, and so we should have the bucket already done. Where's it gone to? <laughs> That's strange. I'll put it back into here, haven't I? A sodium bucket. Ah, yes, of course. I haven't configured this uh, basic tank unit. So let's configure the basic tank unit. So the input. We need to configure the input. So the input is going to come from the right hand side like this. And there we get the, the buckets already, actually the buckets already in. And the see a cell has already gone through and it's got one bucket's worth of sodium in here. So the output wants to go through the top. That's the next step. So let's configure that. Actually, let's do one thing to so what you do when you can do it wrong, because doing it wrong is just as important as doing it right sometimes. So if I try to connect this connector onto this is an item pipe mark one they're actually surprisingly quick they're not too bad at all i can connect that to the chest but when i try connecting this to the chest to the tank it doesn't connect in you see so what we have to do is come along here now and then reconfigure this for the output side here going to the top like that um but you'll notice that this hasn't connected in and it won't connect in so that's actually possibly a bug. I don't know. Some of these do work like that, some don't. So if we put it down again like that, you'll see now it's connected in, but nothing's going to come out of this chest because um, we could push it, maybe, but what I'd like to do is to put a, um, a, a receiver servo onto this pipe like this. There's two types of servo, an output servo and a retriever servo. With the retriever servo, you can actually do can do filters so at the moment it's blast blacklisting everything that means uh, nothing's going to happen so in here now this sh should have gone out as it as you can see and then the one sodium bucket should already be here like that that works just fine so i've got these two sodium buckets now so that's going to work for all of these things so let's make let's make a recipe you'll notice here i've Changes slightly. I've, I've used full size ME interface blocks and I've put various recipes into these. These are getting full, so I'm, I created the third one. Uh, in fact, I moved these recipes from the back there. So, what we'd also like to do is when we've finished something that's been done, what I can do is put these. I haven't got anything at the moment I would like to put in there, but we'll do that in a second. But let's craft some overclocking uh, upgrades. this one so we let, i'm going to make 12 of these click next and then say start so we have got it needs two buckets of this it need, it's got available enough sodium um but yeah let's do that like that and then we can come along here and we should be able to see this I, the items going through here like this as you can see how it's working it's consistent it's, it works every time so there's no problem with this bit at all so that's been made and in here we should see uh if we look at the rest we've actually got two to do so we've already scheduled okay it's got some cables stored in here all right it's working just fine so it's night time i'll be back in a second
the reason they go to sleep at night is because we've got all these solar panels at the back here all doing doing their work. So now let's that worked fairly fast. We've got our 12 upgrades very quickly here. Um, and we're going to see what happens with those next. Let's make another four of these because I, I reckon that four is going to be next. Oops. Ah, yes, I've got to make some ca copper cables now. That's great because that's one of the things I want to demonstrate. But let's make, let's make four, as I said, because uh, I would like to make more. So we've got more work to do. Let's make four of that. So we've got everything we require except for some sodium cells. Sodium cells. The recipe for those is actually like this. If we come along here and have a look for sodium cells, I'm going to. No, it doesn't work that. I have to do it down here. So, sodium cells is this one. So, there's three different recipes. We can use sodalite. Now, sodalite isn't that available. You've got to either, I think, maybe you can mine some of it. Yes, you can. And back to so the recipe for this one. Yeah, there's no, there's no, basically, mine. We can grind this ore from that we find in the end. So sodalite ore we've got to go mining for. That's actually quite hard. Clay, on the other hand, this one's also quite hard. Lazarite. Actually, it's probably not something. That's another one of these which you've got to grind up. Uh, oh, we can actually grind that from um, lapis lazuli. That might not be too bad. And the same here, we get quite a lot from one ore in here. But clay looks like it's a reasonably cheap one. This one you're getting sodalite, calcite and pyrite dust as well. Uh, maybe useful, I'm not sure. So let's go back. <laughs> Have a look at the recipe I wanted to do in the first place. This one. So we've got clay dust and some... Um, uh, empty cells will produce a lithium cell, silicon cell, sodium cells, and aluminium dust. Now, I've already got a recipe for lithium pre prepared for that, so let's just get some lithium and let's craft one of these. And that's going to come out into this chest here. You'll see I've put a, a comp redstone comparator so we can see which chest that's come out of. So this one. So we put those into here, you'll see that's gone off now, and then we can come along here and put those into the industrial electrolyzer, I think. Yeah, that's the one that's working. You'll see it's quite slow, but as soon as I put one more overclocker upgrade, even with three overclocker upgrades here, it's quite slow. Just put one more in here. It will finish this one and the rest it'll, oh, that was, sorry. Bit bad, we didn't see that happening. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, next time we'll see that happening. I want to get these out of here like this. So let's go and get the recipe out of here. We remember which one it was in. It was in here. Oops, strike right, the ME interface at the back. So this is the recipe for that, which produces sodium. So let's come along here. Oh, I haven't put the I haven't put the lithium cell back in here, but it's okay. We'll we'll do that. So let's. Do the recipe for this one, which is here. Okay, that's right. You see, at the moment, I've only got lithium in here. So if I put in, for example, the next one was sodium it produced. Or well, silicon, wasn't it? The next one produced silicon. And that one. Well, forget about the island dust. We've got plenty of that. And now we upgrade this recipe. Now it changes it to two silicon cells. I'm pretty certain this is not going to work as I would like it to work. So... This is the one here which produces this. So let's see if we can now create a sodium cell. Um, we can actually craft these up, great. So let's go and put everything back into here now. We'll just come along to this chest here. This is an input chest. It's It'll take everything out quite nicely. So that will have produced that, the recipe will be cancelled. So we can now go along and make our overcooker upgrades. Let's go back again. I wanted to craft four of these, didn't I? That was the intention. Now what's going to happen here is we've got these machines which are running fairly slowly. This machine here, I can't upgrade at the moment until I put in a machine upgrade here. And the way you do this is you shift right click these onto here like this. The recipe for this 
which I probably don't need to show you because it's in GAI. There's silver plates, Nikolai ingots, and a Mark II circuit. As soon as I do that, uh, try again. I need to get a different interface. Let's do this one. As soon as I do that, we get the extra slot here in upgrades. So then I can put into this one speed enhancer. And then as soon as you do that, you'll see how much faster it goes. Significantly faster. The same is true for this one here. Let's put in these two upgrades in here. And that's going to make the compressor run almost twice as fast. Here we've got a solid infuser. I'm just going to put in all of these at the moment before I upgrade the machines because if you you can do this, there's no point in upgrading the machines until you've got uh, it's full of enhancers or whatever you want to do. And there's one more hidden away over here. I can put one into this compressor as well. So the next thing I'm going to do, the one that really is slow is the compressor. So we're going to go upgrade this machine to the next two levels. So this is the three upgrade recipe. Again, it's fairly straightforward. This one in fact is Electrum and Mark III circuits with enriched Nikolite dust. It's very standard in modern industrial ace and it's rather nice. So we right click this onto here. You'll see that the corners have changed and we get an extra slot in here like this. And then we're going to do the last one of these, which is the Mark IV upgrade. The recipe for that is lead plates, enriched nikolai ingots, and so yeah, and a Mark IV circuit. So we, again, we're just going to upgrade this one. And when I upgrade this, we'll get uh, a new achievement like that. So we've got a factory must grow as an achievement. So the next thing is factories in for industrialization so we're going to work on that next but before we go on to that there's a lot of things that's going to take quite a lot of time to do this so now i would like to make some more copper in copper wire and i want sh i did show you the difference no i didn't show you the difference yet so let's get some copper out of here i think we've got some copper i haven't got much copper let's craft some copper let's craft uh, 64 start that one. Oh no process did let's not finish it oh yes it's still busy we ah yes oh good it's doing what i wanted to do anyway we need to craft four copper cables so as you can see i've got recipes waiting in these two uh chests here so this one here was for sodium so let's do that one manually like this and the next one along here is for wire so it needs some copper wire so at the moment, we haven't got upgraded the, the wire mill. There's no upgrades in here at the moment. So let's push these two in here like that. And while I do that, I'm going to take three, four of these and push these into here. I need a fourth one. Oh, two. Yeah, that's right. And you'll see how much faster it goes as soon as you do that. Fortunately, that example was a bit bad. <laughs> it wasn't quite as fast as it should have been. But we did the industrial electrolyzer last time, so we should see these through coming through a lot faster, as you can see. That was way faster than before. So these machines are whizzing already. So let's just go along and, and put those. Actually, we can put those into this chest here. So we've got all of these items that we have made. Lithium cells, I think that was all. Yes. So that, that recipe should be finished. So, so I was going to craft some of these uh, copper ingots, wasn't I? Let's just cancel that off within that. Let's just craft them. Um, doesn't matter really. Let's craft 16. I was going to craft 64, that wasn't I? And press next and start. And then they'll be in here and you'll see how much faster those are going. I upgrade this machine again and you'll see it really starts to whiz. So the last one we're going to do from those, we're going to craft some plates as well. So we've got some copper plates, so let's craft uh, 32 of those. Next, start that. We always need copper plates, so there's no big deal here. So at the moment it's crafting these, and here you'll see that the, this isn't quite fully maxed out. Uh, I haven't got another enhancer, but you'll see it's using up a lot more power. And I can stop that a little bit by, by doing the uh, putting the efficiency upgrade in here. It is daytime, so that's probably the thing to do. And the efficiency upgrade we might already have. 
No, let's craft one of these. So this is going to be producing all sorts of stuff. And as you can see, here's the solid infuser with the one upgrade in it. It's working considerably faster than it was before because they're all crawling away. But I could upgrade this one to a tier three machine. I probably will do. This one's stamping away on electric, Electrum um, to make some plates. And that, that'll be fairly quick. So I'm, as soon as this is finished, which is probably nearly done now, We should, there we go, done. So now when I come along here and put this into the compressor, we shouldn't use quite so much power up uh, as before. So it should be able to use the power more quickly. The last thing I'd like to talk about on these machines is heat. At the moment, these machines are not running continuously. Um, but the ones that do tend to run continuously are the ones at the back here. Because, for example, I have got... Uh, it's night time, I'll be back in a second. We've got ancient debris in here. This is one of the ones that benefits significantly from this process um, here. So all I need to do, for example, here I've got a, a little bit, and probably enough sulfuric acid. Uh, and here we've got a, a full tank of sulfuric acid. And we'll put these into here like this. And it's got no enhancers or speed enhancers in here at all. So it does run very slowly. But it also uses quite a lot of power. So what you can then do, you see this one's an industrial smelter. It was already made as a tier four machine and the same with the condenser. So we can put energy efficiencies into here and speed upgrades into the other machines, which are Mark 1s. And that'll make it run significantly faster. Let's go and pinch one out of one of these machines. Let's go and pinch it out of here. And you'll see the difference just with one. I've already shown you this already, but different machines work differently but as you can see so as these machines run they get hot and some of them get very hot and some don't see this one's okay but it's running on a continuous process this one doesn't have any heat the condenser and then this is producing ancient debris chunks and then that's going to end up as oh we've already got a load stack of those already prepared so that's how I'm doing that. And I do need quite a lot of ancient debris because of the miner. Uh, so let's just put those away into here. I will change, I will actually also update this. So I automatically pull the output of here into the network so we don't have to spend time doing that. Right, next episode, I am going to be preparing some of these. What I'd like to do is make a plasma generator. That's probably not too difficult. Generator, HP transformers and tungsten steel plates we've probably got enough of those already to make one of these the use of that is to use helium plasma uh, and that will produce 8 million e from one bucket of that to produce the helium uh, we need these helium plasma cells which are made in the fusion reactor so we need a uh, deuterium which probably isn't going to be too difficult. What do we hydrogen cells? Okay, which we'll make that's so no big deal. We may have plenty of hydrogen cells in the past. And helium three cells, which is deuterium cells, which again is hydrogen plus tritium. <laughs> it's one of these things. So we oh, all right, so we it's a bit strange. Must be a way to get around that. So anyway we make those. So we need to make this fusion control computer, which requires a fusion coil. And in fact, this is actually a multi-block as well. And we all need eight more fusion coils to make that. So we need nine fusion coils. Let's have a look at making nine of these and see what we need. And so I'm going to be preparing this for between the next episodes. It needs a bucket of helium. Well, we've done that already, so not a big deal. It needs 338 uh, gunpowder. Redstone dust, about a thousand. That's probably not such a problem. Coal is probably not such a problem. Eleven diamonds, that's not such a problem. One iridium ingot. We'll see if I can do that one. Sand. In, in our tin dust. How many tin dust? Two thousand, well, basically two thousand four hundred. Uh, silver dust, not such a problem. Uh, that, that's right, plates. Probably not such a problem. I probably haven't got a recipe for that's right, plates yet. Gold dust, there's a lot of stuff, as you can see. There is a lot of stuff. Uh, most of it's okay, except for things like tin. 
um, tin we will sort out by mining for it and also we'll also mine for um, well I will do between episodes for titanium dust because we're going to need that as well for later on so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it so until next time I wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>